Hey what's up guys in this video I want to talk about 10 cool things that you can do with Samsung Galaxy A52 so without any further delays let's dive right into it and the first thing that I want to talk about here is the motion smoothness so this is the high refresh rate 90 hertz refresh rate that Samsung has included in this display on A52 so we go in settings we go in display and here you will see motion smoothness so here it comes selected as high out of the box so you don't have to worry about it it gives your display 90 hertz refresh rate makes it really smooth and animations really buttery and phone seems really fast overall playing games is also a better and improved experience with this uh, refresh rate now if for some reason you're not happy with that you can select standard and that will give you the 60 hertz refresh rate and this is something that you have used like forever and you'll be right at home on 60 hertz as well but uh, it is very difficult to show this 90 hertz refresh rate on on camera you will notice it and appreciate it once you have this phone in your hand and you you know really scroll with this refresh rate moving on second thing that samsung has included uh, with one ui 3.1 on this phone is called background so if you go in the caller or the dialer go in settings and here you will see this option called background so this basically gives a bit of color and personality to your call background so they're not dull and you know static like this anymore so here you can uh, first select the layout you can go with more compact form like this one or you can go with um, you know normal regular form like this one and once you're done with that go in background now here you will see these different backgrounds so you know there are different videos and animations here that you can add which will be playing while you're getting the call so you know it makes it a bit more funky now if that's not enough you can tap this plus button here and select photos and videos of your own from your gallery or you can add your own AR emojis as well next up on this phone when you press this power button it does not uh, give you the option to turn off the phone rather it turns on Bixby if you don't want that you can change that totally by going in settings and then go in advanced features and here go in side key now here you get two options so double press so that is the setting that I've always used but you can uh, you know set it up to open Bixby or any other app for that matter and then the second one is more traditional press and hold now here it's already selected wake Bixby so that's the case out of the box if you don't want it you don't like it you can go with power of menu now when you will long press this button it will give you the power of menu in any case if you decide to go with wake Bixby you can turn off the phone by going in the notification panel and tapping this button right here or you can press the power button and the volume down button together and that will give you this menu as well moving on let's get into some of the camera features here so if we go into the camera app um, here there is a new feature here called fun so this is basically nothing more than snapchat filters so you can uh, you know use snapchat filters straight from the camera app on your phone you don't have to use snapchat for this so you can just uh, scroll through these different filters so if i go to the front facing camera so there you go and then if you scroll further you will see this search button go in here and you will see more filters and if you want to see even more you can go and take a look at them in snapchat so i think this is really cool and really handy for people who post to snapchat or use snapchat regularly moving on there is another really cool feature here and it's called single take and i really like this feature so if you don't know about this feature and you have not used it previously this is a very uh, handy feature so all you have to do is press this button once and it will take bunch of videos and photos and then edit them and then uh, some of these videos it will speed up and uh, create uh, these GIFs as well so I think it's a very handy uh, feature or tool to create different kind of photos and videos just from single take so you know hence the name single take so first of all just tap on this button and here it will show you what kind of um, shots you want to capture so the options are way less as compared to s21 ultra where you get quite a bit of options so here you get speed effect clips filtered photos and wide crop for shorts now if i can show you on my s21 ultra here so if you go in single take and you tap on this button you can see that we get more options here as compared to a52 anyways let's go ahead and demonstrate this single take option here i'll put bunch of uh, stuff here 
and it will start capturing these uh, moments and I'll just be moving around my phone here and there so there you go so we have got a photo here and then we've got a video here then another photo black and white photo uh, this one is uh, sped up and then a filtered photo and then a loop moving on another really handy feature that they've included in this camera app is the document scan feature so if you go in settings go in scene optimizer and turn this on if you go in here there is an option document scan so whenever uh, you will you know point your camera towards a document it will automatically detect that it's a document and will take a scanned photo of it so i think this is really handy and useful moving on and still talking about camera features there is now an option to add watermarks to your photos straight from the camera app so in settings if you scroll down you will see this watermark option turn it on go in here and then you can actually change the watermark so um, it will uh, give you the option Samsung quad camera I think that will stay permanent but you can change what it says down below so I can just write test shot and then you know that will be the watermark shown on your photos moving on I want to talk about some of the gallery features so these are the experimental features and they are not available uh, from the get-go on this phone so for that we need to go in gallery and then go in settings and here go in about gallery now if you tap on this version here version 12.1.02.2 multiple times you will unlock the labs section now I've already unlocked it on this phone but if you do it on yours and labs is not already unlocked it will unlock the labs section and you'll see it like this gallery labs into the main settings page now if you go in here you will see bunch of stuff that was not available in the gallery settings before so uh, there is quite a bit of stuff here film strip in viewer so you can turn this on viewer and details renewal day cluster merging in picture list so it will cluster your photos into one day dynamic spacing between photos you can turn this you know spacing feature on and off optional menu in viewer advanced video player Microsoft your phone so there is a bunch of stuff here that you can go on your own and take a look at now these are all the experimental features they might come into the regular gallery app later on sometime into the future depends on how we use it but I think this is a really cool feature and you can play around with this gallery app on um, a52 is already really powerful and this makes it even more exciting moving on another feature that I found really useful and I think is really cool and important is the hashtag feature so you can now tag your photos with different hashtags so if I go in here and open up this wallpaper I can swipe up and here I will see this add tags option so if I tap on it allow it it will create bunch of tags for me already but I can add more so I can add gallery and I can even add another one so and then I can add wallpaper and save it so now I've got two tags with this one photo and the good thing here is that if you are searching for a photo you can then search with tags so simply go in here tap wallpaper and you'll get the photo and finally I want to talk about another really important tool that's available into the battery section on this phone and it concerns the battery usage and battery uh, you know amount of power that you get out of this phone so if we go in battery and device care and here go in battery here you will see this option battery usage limits very important go in here and here you can actually see apps uh, see sleeping apps deep sleeping apps and never sleeping apps so if you go in here you can see none of the apps are here so if you want to conserve battery and you see a notification about an app that's already running in the background and running all the time you can then add that app from this plus button here and select any app and it will be put to the sleeping list then then you can go ahead and select deep sleeping apps again go to the plus button and then you can add any app there now as you continue to download more apps on your phone your phone will automatically categorize apps um, and put them into these lists and if there is a particular app that is not in any of these sections you can then add them manually here and then finally we have this last option never sleeping apps 
So if there is a particular app that you don't want to go to sleep in the background and you want it to run continuously in the background, you can then add it here manually. So you can add any app here and uh, you'll be sure that it won't uh, sleep in the background or your phone will not kill it off. Anyways, that's about it from this video guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've liked this video and if there are really important and cool features that you like in this phone, let me, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.